here, Pooh Bear 253, and welcome to Pooh Bear's Precious Pumpkin Patch with me, your host, Pooh Bear 253. And we have a special guest again this weekend, Hubby. Hey, everybody. All right, guys, it is Sunday, it is 710. We are tired, we have been out all day. We've had a very, very busy weekend. I'm gonna give you guys like a little brief synopsis of it all. But first, um, what we're sharing with you guys today, of course, we're doing our pick ones. We have my handsome hubby here to help us out um, so we can get the, read the uh, comments or whatnot. But you guys have already seen Miss um, Persephone. If you guys follow my um, Instagram and if you check out like um, the community post, I posted a picture of her. So she has this super cute little pumpkin headband with a sparkly black band. And all this stuff I got last year on clearance. Um, I got this from Target on clearance. It has another bow to go with it. She has a white long sleeve onesie with all these cute little cats dressed for Halloween. And it says, Daddy's Under My Spell. And it has a cute little, oh, just little cats with little bows and glasses and sparkly little bows and headbands and little witch hats. A little mask and it also is paired with these little black little leggings with a little tutu tool skirt attached and in purple little sparklies you can see like little cat faces I don't know if you guys can see but it has the ears and the little eyes and the um, little whiskers you see one right there so that is her Halloween outfit um and i'm going to share with you guys my very last lucky fortune and i also have a teeny tiny haul for you guys but let's go ahead and get started with our pick one questions I like to hear here we go and persephone's just gonna hang out in my lap so where we left off was pancakes or waffles now i'm not a huge breakfast person and i uh especially i do like pancakes but the first thing i learned to cook when i was younger was pancakes and i cooked them all the time um and nowadays you know breakfast is early in the morning and pancakes waffles the syrup and stuff it just kind of upsets my stomach sometimes um but if it's later on like a later breakfast maybe but long story short i pick waffles because um waffle house waffles are like my favorite and i also like the pancakes from um ihop but like i said i'm not a huge breakfast person most of the time we will yeah he's the breakfast guy like i'll eat either one but if we like it depends on what breakfast place we go to of course i don't think they have pancakes at waffle house do they they do no no not pancakes at waffle house but they have waffles at I okay all right no i was telling you stop that picking because you rock rocking me when you do that thank you sweetie okay he has a nervous tick okay anyway love you yeah <clears throat> so i this was kind of hard but i think i went waffle definitely waffle uh was my answer um so let's uh hear one of our comments honey okay this comment comes from brown sugar curtis whose comment reads, I recently discovered I'm more of a waffles person when I have to choose over pancakes. Well, we have that in common, Brown Sugar Curtis. Yes. So, hubby, what, 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 because since you're, since he's, I'm just going to ask him because he's the breakfast-aholic. 
what he really loves is biscuits and waffles, pancakes, French toast, sausage, bacon. You take me to a breakfast buffet, you could just leave me. I'm in heaven. Grits, eggs, hash browns. He eats sausage. it all. He eats it all. He loves bacon. That. He can toast. eat it. He can eat it for breakfast, lunch, a dinner, dinner, brunch. He eats it all the time. All right, so I'm gonna let her sit there, kind of. Some I don't know. Shh, my, I need a blanket. Um, don't don't rub her feet on. Okay, you good right there? Or you wanna lay her? I'm gonna lay her because I don't want her to fall. All right, all right. She's gonna hang out over there. I need a blanket on my lap, and it's kind of warm. And anyway, moving on. We got. I need to keep it going. And who won that one was pancakes with 58%. All right, hey then. Oh, did you pick which one you picked? I didn't hear you. Did I say you can't miss me with either. I guess if I have to pick one or the other, I'll which pick one waffles. Which one did you pick? I would pick waffles slightly over pancakes, but I love them both. I can eat them by the short stack. Yeah, it, it, stack. it just really depends. Like, Sometimes if they cook them right, sometimes they kind of undercook the pancakes at IHOP and they be kind of mushy. Yeah. Sometimes, but yeah, it, it's just it's kind of a I don't know. There's gonna be waffles cooking tomorrow though. Yeah, he says he's gonna uh, make breakfast tomorrow for Labor Day. We get to relax because we like I said. Oh, before I keep going, I want to do. I forgot to say I wanted to go do a little brief synopsis of our weekend. So Friday was clean house and it was the clean house weekend where we have to mop every third every third time i mop like every so every other friday we clean the house every so third every six weeks so every six weeks is when we mop it's just us and the cats so and it takes more time to do the mopping so we only do it every six weeks um, but anyway, so it took longer. We were completely exhausted. Didn't finish and sit down to eat until 10. But anyway, and then um, the next day I cooked some red beans and prepared my snacks and all my stuff for next week. Um, and we had a birthday party to go to. We went to this new place called The Main Event. It started off rocky, but it ended pretty good. And all that. It was for my little cousin's birthday. I think he turned, I don't know, seven, eight, nine. I don't know. I don't keep up. Um, but yeah. And then after that, we had date night. Oh, wonderful. It was my turn to pick. And I picked this place called Willie's. And I had shrimp and fish and fries and hush puppies. And, what it, and we had a, a salad. I had a Caesar salad. Oh, and my appetizer, I had some... What did they call them? Mozzarella logs? No. Some cheese, cheese logs. Log. Cheese log. I had cheese logs, but they were like big, fat mozzarella sticks. Didn't eat all of it and I had the other half we ate today for lunch. And what did you have, babe? For my appetizer, I had Louisiana toast, which was these little toasts covered with shrimp, covered with cheese. Uh-uh. Oh, that was crawfish. Craw that was crawfish. Crawfish. I'm sorry. Crawfish covered with cheese. How I'm telling him what he ate, y'all. You mm -hmm. ate it, too. I had a bite. You had some. I, and my bite didn't even, he didn't even give me a bite with the crawfish in it. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. I gave you the whole thing. You could have just had. Mm, no. Nah. I gave you a whole one. But I gave it back. I didn't eat the whole thing. So then that's your fault. And I guess you're right. I had some, some fried chicken that they had, which was a little different. It was spicy, but it was had like almost like a cinnamon sugar in it which i've never really seen before but it never was, seen or never ate never, i've never seen anyone do it like that be trying to be talking over me rude you saw that abuse there was no abuse it's all good. Mm. no so anyway so we had date night and we went to this new bakery and bought two cupcakes a piece we ate one yesterday um, when we came home, and we have the other one in. Well, sitting out now. We're gonna after I finish, we finish this video. We're gonna have our shakes. We have already prepared our shakes. We're gonna drink them, 
and I have like some popcorn. We have peanut butter toast, and that's what we're gonna have for dinner. And for dessert, it's gonna be our other cupcake. So it's called Sweeties. Little sweet time. Sweet time. You sweet, sure? No, time. that don't sound right. Sweet cakes. Oh. Sweet cakes. Sweet sweeties cakes or something. There was a new a bakery. Really nice lady, and hubby's gonna give me a birthday cake. My birthday cake from there. Oh, sweet time. I was sweet. right. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, my bad. You're making me think I'm crazy. Anyway, okay, 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 okay. All right, so my birthday cake is going to be like a round cake, and it's going to have cupcakes around it, and it looks so cute, and it was Hello Kitty. They had it on display. I was like, that's my birthday cake for um 2020. So, yeah, and today, uh, so after date night, we were kind of tired. It was kind of late, so we came home and kind of watched some shows, and then this morning, we woke up, um, had our breakfast and we went to the first movie and went and saw Scary Stories. It was really good. Scary Stories who tell in the dark. Yeah, it was really good. So we saw that this morning and then we went on a hunt. I've been trying to find fanny packs because I have like back and shoulder problems. And so the fanny packs kind of relieve the pressure from me having a purse on my shoulders. So I've really been liking but I only have two. And one of them is kind of kitty like and I want to like give it to my cousin or something. But I need to get some more to replace it. So I've been on a hunt for that. I don't like the ones at Walmart. They're like cheap. And like I just don't like the way they look. And I've still been on a hunt for a new diaper bag y'all. I still haven't found that. So we've been to Ross, Burlington's, TJ, two TJ Maxx, Marshalls. And I was also on the hunt for a cute little toddler backpack for Aniko to put her sippy cup in and her little plate and spoon and stuff um, for me to do like a little bit of role play or whatever with her if I wanted to. <laughs> what are you two felines doing on the TV Shelf, Lola, what are you doing, weirdo? Lola, <laughs> she doing? is there what? something up there I need to know about? What is she doing? Our cats are weird, that's what they're doing over there. That's what I was looking at. We have weird cats, but anyway, and so we after the movie, we went to the movies at 12. That was the first movie at 12.05. We got out of there right at two o'clock, and after that. From 2 o'clock to like, what time we got home? Like 6? Six. Six. So, Six 4 hours. So, 4 hours we were shopping. I found literally two things. A cute little outfit for Nico. Her backpack. And I got some cute little, um, two cute little things I got from uh, the Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so back to the question. So, that was our weekend. We plan on chilling out the rest of the day and chilling out tomorrow and back to work on Tuesday. We're so grateful to have Labor Day off tomorrow. Yay! So, let's keep going. The next one was donuts or muffins. I'm going to have to go donuts because I love donuts. We have a new donut place we go to. Krispy Kreme is shut down for um, complete makeover main uh, like Renovation. renovations so but we have a donut place that we like called mr ronnie's and their donuts are real good and they give you these big old fat pastries and stuff that's a place we had went for our staycation oh they were so good and i had this pink donut this donut with pink icing and sprinkles it was so oh my goodness so good but those muffins that you get like the big ones, like they have like the chocolate ones and the chocolate chip, blueberry, banana nut, those big fat muffins by Smuck, Smuck, Osh, Smuckers, Smucker, Split, Sputnik. I don't know. I think you get them Otis from. Sputman. Yeah, that. Oh, this. Sputnik, Sput, Sput, whatever. Sput. Sputmire. But yeah, those that you get from Sam's Club, I've had those. Those are good too. But if I had to choose, definitely donut. For like late night snack, morning snack is with. Well, like I say, we eat donuts in the morning too. So I'm a, I, I like them both. But yeah, if I, I some donuts in the 
I, I like I really do like them both but I guess I I'd have to go if I had to pick I'd pick donuts but I really like them both but of course this is stuff that we don't get to eat but I remember the memories of me used to being able to eat that stuff for like for teachers like they used to, you know when we would have like our in service and stuff they would have like those snacks and orange juice and little stuff and I remember those, those they used to be so good but anyway let's read one of our comments honey I'm just going oh, whack, 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 whack. this comment comes from Chiquita McGowan donuts hands down muffins are dry <laughs> well you eating the wrong muffins Chiquita now some muffins are delicious girl I don't know what you're talking you, about you want, I don't know if you have an Albertsons where you are but my personal favorite muff, blueberry muffins Al come from Albertsons. Albertsons is a grocery store. Yeah. Just, yeah. So right. I don't know if Albertsons are everywhere. I don't know. I think it's, it's like a neighborhood there. grocery store. Um, but anyway, what did you pick? I picked donuts. Ah, oh, we matched. Donuts. Mm -hmm. Donuts. Matching kiss. Aw, mm -hmm. oh, uh, matching kiss. Oh. All right, so... <laughs> There are more flavors of donuts than there are flavors of muffins that I like. But I definitely like muffins. Mm -hmm. I love blueberry muffins. Favorite. Mine is banana nut. I love banana nut muffins. And the little chocolate chip muffins. Cranberry muffins. I love cranberry muffins. Mm. I don't know about that. I like the chocolate chip muffin. But I like the banana nut first. Then the chocolate chip. Um, If I had to pick. And I like the blueberry too. But that's more of his thing. All right, and the winner of that one was donuts with 74%. Next, we have summer or winter. <sighs> this one's kind of a neither for me. I'm more of a fall person. Not spring because of all the pollen and all the sinus pressure and headaches and congestion. Um, but if I'd have to pick summer... I would have to pick if I would if I had to pick it'd be summer because I'm off and that's normally like vacation time staycation time fun get out and do fun stuff winter uh, you're at work but it's also Christmas also and like holiday time oh but it's cold but I like to bundle up I love jackets Cedric can tell you that. Like, I always like to put on jackets and sweaters. I love to bundle up. But I don't like being cold. And I don't like being hot. But the difference is, in the summertime, you can stay in the house with air conditioner on. So, I don't know. In the wintertime, you can stay in the house with the heat on. <laughs> but we try not to run our heat. I'm cheap. Because we, i rather be... I can put clothes on to stay warm in the house, you know, and... Have the heater on just to warm it up a little bit and put, put some sweats on, some long sleeves, some sweaters, some thermal something to keep yourself warm. Hat, everything <laughs> sitting in here freezing. But I'm not going to sit in the house and be hot. That I'm not going to do that. So I would have to go summer. What would you say? I also said summer. Because he hates being cold. Can't stand being cold. And on top of that, summer... This is the time we, we often have our vacations, so we spend a little so bit of time together. Oh, matching kiss. Um, mm. uh. mm. <laughs> um so but what? Yeah. Free, oh. Freezing? No. no. Yeah, he don't like to be cold. So let's read a comment. And this comment comes from somebody named N.R. I said summer. I see summer all year round. I live in South Florida, but when we get cold weather, some people still wear shorts. I do miss the three other seasons. Uh, in our prayers for you, stay safe. That Hurricane Dorian, I hear, is a monster. Category 5. And by the time it reaches y'all, it's going to be a Category 4. So I hope you have all of your supplies. And also to Miss Serena Smith and anybody else in Florida, hope you guys prepare. Have your water, your backup generator, your some food. And gas up your car and ready to go if you have to, like, leave and stuff. So, you guys be safe up there. Like, there's just nothing to play with. Those natural disasters are no fun at all. 
We know. Um, so the winner was summer was 61%. So next, french fries or onion rings? I love onion rings, but hands down, french fries. Whenever like our, we go out and eating something, why are they playing Ring Around the Rosie at the TV? What are those? <laughs> they just Ring Around the Rosie in. Oh, I can't. You guys can't see. Let's see. Do they have a show? Oh, wait. Oh, I think they stopped. They say you're trying to film them. <laughs> they stopped. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Why not? Maybe. No. Done. <laughs> They're so weird. It, anyway, weirdos. Okay. So, hands down, french fries, like, if I'm getting burgers. Now, if anything, I order some onion rings as an appetizer. But that's something you have to eat fresh because onion rings don't heat up well. Neither do, like, seafood and, like, because we just had that issue heating up our leftovers from date night. It's definitely not the best the second time around. I fed him, like, most of it. I was like, oh, I'm full. Here you go. I really was full though. Me her what is Lola? Our cats are going nuts and it is such a distraction for me. Mel? What are you doing? What? You wanna come say hey? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Mm. Mel, you wanna come say hey? Mm. Say hey everybody. That's our baby. A baby dolly. Right, you go hold her. I'll stand under the Oh. Here you go. See? You go purr for everybody. I don't think you guys can hear her purr. Her purr is more like internal. Oh, I get to get you. That's my baby. I'm going to get daddy kisses. Mm. It's our babies. We don't have real children. Um, Our cats are our babies. Well, no, no, well, no. Well, she says she's getting better. So she said, I may have lost Miss Serenity Smith if she's watching. <laughs> she says she's getting better with the cats. She says she's not, they're not so bad anymore. Okay, when we come visit you in Jacksonville, we'll bring them with you. No, we're not going to bring them. They, will, they are not traveling cats at mm -hmm. all. All right, so my answer was French fries. I do like onion rings. They got to be hot and fresh, though. And not too greasy. Sometimes people just be having stuff so greasy. Mm. All right, so read us a comment, Nuka. This comment comes from Spinny Loves Dolls. I love French fries. Hubby loves both. When we go to Steak and Shake, we always order a side of onion rings. Yummy. We're never gonna finish this video. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so th this is our entertainment. They are always doing something. As soon as I start filming, then they stop. They don't like to perform. And look, Lola just walks off. Y'all are such buttheads. They oh, <laughs> they are such buttheads. They want to interrupt and make noise, but then when we try to show them. Then they're like, No, we're not doing anything. All right, anyway. All right, so the winner was French fries was 83%. Next was sewing or crocheting. I sold a dress in high school and have never touched a sewing machine since. But from time to time, I do pick up my crochet hooks and crochet a few things. Like I recently enjoyed making some bear hats this summer. And hubby and I also have some winter hats that I made and what else did I crochet for you? I got two of my 12 B's. He got two of his two B's. I'm getting 10 more. He's not. She said so. I didn't. She promised she's trying to back out I now. did not. I've got it on day. He doesn't. Moving on. Look at this face with this face lie.
Anyway, let's read a comment. Oops, sorry. The comment comes from Spring's Little Flower Buds. I really do love both, though. <laughs> So I don't know which one she picked. So the winner was barely crocheting with 51%. Barely. So barely. So that was neck and neck. Crochet barely won that one. Next was pudding or jello. I could go either one. Honestly, pudding is good, but I think I'd pick jello. I picked jello. It's more flavors like strawberry, watermelon. Like the little blue ones, but we, I don't, I can't tell you last time I've had Jello, but Jello with fruit in it, too. The little Jello cups you have fruit in, I used to love those so good. We don't get a match kiss on this one because he picked pudding, but Jello pudding is still like the same kind of thing. Now Jello's the brand. <laughs> he You're comparing the, pudding and gelatin. He likes the pudding. I'm like, what's the, your favorite flavor? Pudding? Banana pudding. Just with, banana pudding with vanilla by vanilla wafers. No, no, no. I'm talking about in the packet. Heck, fine. Banana cream pudding. And you know she's gonna stop. Wait, what? I'm, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> she's just going around and around the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, what did you do to these cats? They got some fresh cat milk. Oh, there we go. Well, I, I keep their toys in this jug. <laughs> he keeps beating up this. <laughs> I keep their toys in a jug filled with cat milk. And I periodically switch their toys out. So whatever toys they have out, I pick them all up, put them some new ones out, out of the jar with the cat milk, and put the old ones back in there. And I. I trade them out so they recently got some fresh toys. So, so I guess that's what that's what that's all about. So, did you read one? For I have not read one. Okay, let's read one for Jello Pudding. Oh, wait, Jello versus Pudding. We have Reborn Love is Real, whose comment is, "I like Jello Pudding." <laughs> Jello Pudding. <laughs> I'm sorry for the interruption. Quiet on the set. <laughs> God, this video is just gonna be complete chaos. Okay, and the winner was regular pudding. Of course. With 64%. I'm surprised it was that close. I really like Jello though. That's a nice lighter treat. And like I really like to make it and put some fruit in there. That'd be good. Some pears, some pears, peaches, and chop up and put that in there. That's good. Make me want some jello. I'm sorry for the interruption, y'all. <laughs> and I don't have a good background <laughs> TV. I don't have a good attention span. And Lola is hilarious to me. So whenever she's doing something, I'm like I I'm like all eyes on Lola. What you doing? Why are you so weird? <laughs> Say <laughs> because I get it from my Parents. <laughs> All right, we're almost done. Next one was s'mores or brownies? Hands down, brownies. I'll do s'mores. Like I've done them; they taste good. But hands down, brownies. Like with the little put with the chocolate chips in. Focus. With the chocolate chips in there, and like. Focus. <laughs> and chop you up some. <laughs> really focused. Walnuts or pecans. She's <laughs> over here. <laughs> what is she doing? This cat is driving me crazy. Okay, like chop with some walnuts in there or some pecans uh, on top and mixed in as. <laughs> it's delicious. Brownies is what I picked. Read a comment, honey. 
Mary O's comment says, love s'mores, but I'm obsessed. And I do mean obsessed with brownies. Mm-mm. I'm not obsessed, but I do like brownies. Like, especially because with us eating healthy, like, we don't buy that type of stuff anymore. So, we don't really get to enjoy that. So, if we do get something like that, we do like how we did with how we did with the cupcakes and just buy some <laughs> eat it and it's gone and then it's gone so we don't like really buy the mix and stuff to make a whole pan because that's just too much we just would have to go to a bakery or go to walmart pick us up i don't know what's wrong with lola okay <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so that's how we do that. So I hadn't had like a fresh brownie in a long time. Maybe for staycation we'll make some fresh something and give it away or so I don't know. But we can probably eat it, just freeze it or something. That's something you could do, freeze it. But when you freeze it, you know it's in there and it be calling you and I can make it. We can eat something. I can let you take the rest of work to sell it. Mm-hmm. You want people? You want me to make some more stuff? To sell. Well, you had only you ain't make brownies. You make cakes. I can make cake. I can make both. Yeah, he made some cakes one like years ago, and I cut and we cut slices. And I sold it at work for a dollar slice. It was good. But anyway, so brownies one was seventy one percent. Last one from this morning was flip flops or tennis shoes. I wear tennis shoes all day, every day because of my acute Achilles tendonitis that I have and because we work out I have to wear these special um, shoes with the roll bar from New Balance that's the only shoes I wear and I am due for to purchase some more um, because these are I could tell they're wearing out because my feet have been kind of hurting on my heel so I've kind of worn those out and I need some more but I prefer to wear flip-flops during the summer when, you know, you're going to the beach or vacation. And like weekends, I normally wear flip-flops, but I wear tennis shoes more often. But my feet, I like for my feet to be kind of free in the flip-flops. But wintertime, mm-mm, we don't play them games. Toes covered, socks, warm feet. I do not like my feet to be cold. So... I know some folks out there will wear flip-flops or sandals all year long. I don't see how some people do that. Some people got hot feet, I guess. But my feet is like the first thing that gets cold on me. So I like them to be warm. So the only time I'm going to be sporting some flip-flops or sandals is in the summertime. So which one do I prefer? I'm going to have to go tennis shoes because when I wear the flip-flops, um... Because, like I said, I got feet problem. Like, I got this acute Achilles tendonitis, and I need these special shoes and insoles because, like, my feet will hurt. My feet kind of hurt. So, I can only wear, like, the flip-flops and the sandals on the weekend. I can't wear that every day. I normally, most of the time, and especially if we're going to the mall, I know we're going to do a lot of walking. I have to have my tennis shoes on, or I'm not going to make it too, too far. So, let's read our last comment, Hunty. Well, do we have any? Only one. We only have one from today. <laughs> it comes from Phyllis Davis. I like flip flops because it's less on my feet. All right. Thank you for everyone that commented on on our little pick one. So I'm, I'm like I said, this is really me and hubby because he picked this book out for me. He's like, there'd be something nice to kind of to you know, I don't know, just to kind of share. And just kind of get people's opinions and whatnot. So, Tennis Shoes won with 58%. So, that was also a close one. So, I'm going to give you guys the insider. For tomorrow, for Labor Day, it's going to be karaoke or charades. Which one would you pick? So, that's going to be for tomorrow. I'll post that tomorrow. (laughs) So, I'm going to show you guys my little mini haul. And we're going to go ahead and get ready to wrap this long video up. So I went to the Dollar Tree. And look what I found at the Dollar Tree, you guys. I found these cute little Winnie the Pooh bottles. So this one has a cute little um, teal, light turquoise color top to it. It's Winnie the Pooh. And this one has a yellow top. And it says, Silly Old Bear. So you guys know I had to get these. So check out your local 
Dollar Tree, guys. Ooh, his wife looks like a stalker. <laughs> stalker cat. There's no way they see me. There's no way they see me. I'm hiding behind the TV. <laughs> so I got those for my collection. Um, and my quick little haul. I got Aniko this super cute little mustard long sleeve dress, and with white little kitty cats on them, and they have little gray a gray spot on their back. It's long sleeve and it has three little um, iridescent little kind of white. Well, not iridescent. I don't know. Just white. <laughs> but it's not white. They're kind of like a clear white, like a little clear white buttons. Um, and it comes with the little um, diaper cover. It's a cute little mustard looking color. And I just thought this would be really cute for fall with some little boots. Because uh, Aniko has so many shoes. And some little tights. And I've been looking for a cute little toddler book sack for her. So she has this cute little... I'm going to flatten this is kind of smushed over so I'm going to put something on this to make this lay flat so she has this cute little unicorn little toddler pink book sack and I actually guess it's a pegasus because it has wings iridescent little uh, wings on it I thought this was so cute so I could put her little sippy cup on there um, I just really loved it a lot. It has a little zipper here for, you know, I can put something little in there. And uh, I can put like a little sweater or a little change of clothes in there for her with her little plate and to keep her little taller stuff, her little sippy cup. So I thought this was so cute. And I got these uh, two items from Burlington. They were both $8.799. Um, so, yep, that was it. Um, so lastly, we're going to go ahead and do, um, my little lucky fortune, my last little fortune cookie that I have and see what we got. And then hubby and I are going to eat. Hubby, will you go, um, well, well, yeah, I guess I'll do it. It's it, not going to take long because my drink is still in the freezer. So, but it should thaw pretty quickly. I had already cut it. All right. Last lucky fortune. I saved the pink dip for last. Poop. Oh, and it also has a pink string. Okay. It's, whatever it is, it's big because it's not coming out. There we go. I don't want you to have it. Oh, I'm like, wait, where's the fortune at? Oh. Let's see. We have what is it? Is it perfume or a camera? Let's see. I don't know. Um, I'm. I have no idea what this is. The fortune might help. You guys take a look. What do you guys think it is? I'm not really sure I what. Think this I'm gonna need a tool for. This. Oh, I can use this. I have no idea what this is. Hmm, let me take a look. Looks like a camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh maybe the camera so. taking the picture, like a yeah, Polaroid. The, yeah, a Polaroid. I think it's a Polaroid camera. I think it's a Polaroid camera. I think. Cause I don't know what this part at the top is though. But the flash? No, the other little pink part here. So it seems like it's a camera. Let's see, like the little flash here and like the little Polaroid picture coming out. That's my assumption. Yeah, it's definitely a camera. All right, it says, your smile lights up the room. So the fortune goes with it. So it is definitely a camera. But I'm wondering, like, what's this part up here? The pink was that part like that seems to be kind of unnecessary this decoration is that it looks like a little heart on there a 
little heart on the little picture. So that was my last lucky fortune, a little camera, and it tells me that my smile lights up the room. Hubby, hubby says that. Hubby says I have a nice smile. That's what hooked me. So, no, that ain't what hooked him. That's what hooked me. Mm -mm. <laughs> Something else hooked him. Well, I don't know. Well, I guess because you didn't see my legs yet. He's a leg man. He likes my legs. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, <laughs> Oh, but anyway, that was it. That's my last little lucky fortune. So those are cute. Where'd he go? Oh, maybe I'll get some more for Christmas in my stocking if I'm a good girl, hubby says. So thank you guys so much for watching. This video was very long due to interruptions from cats and all that type of stuff. So I hope you guys have a fun and safe, be safe, especially again, prayers out to everyone in Florida and in the Bahamas. Um, was it Bahamas or Virgin? Bahamas? Most probably. Uh, but those are Bahamas that you were looking at. Yeah, and all those islands out there, man. A Category Five hurricane, dude. That is no joke. Um, but anyway, so prayers for everyone out there. Thank you so much for stopping by, hanging out with us. It's time for us to eat. We're ready to go. All right. So I will talk to you guys later. Mwah. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. See you in the next video.